Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the full moon in Aquarius reading, okay? So we're just going to see what comes up. You may hear my computer in the background. It's running. I'm doing like an edit back there. So if you hear it, then it is what it is, right? So anyway, what do we have for a message for this full moon in Aquarius? Now, keep in mind that the timing is fluid and not every reading is for you. This is also going to be one of the daily vibes. So let's just see what comes up. We're going to use a couple of different decks this time because um, I usually do for a full moon reading. I did do one already and it's 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 editing back there now. I'm not sure if I'm going to share it. It's pretty long. I don't really typically like to do those type of readings that are too long. I am thinking as to whether I should share it or not. The message was different. Um, after I watched it, um, I realized that there's more to the message that I didn't pick up until I watched it. Um, and that happens a lot. What I what I saw was that somebody is, is clinging to the past and um, they're clinging to, you know, something that they made a poor judgment call on and it's time to move on from that poor judgment call. It's time to move on, okay? It is time to move on to new beginnings. We had like eight ones. Uh, you'll see if I decide to let it go. Um, which I, I may, I'm, I'm contemplating right now, it's, it's compiling together. Um, but we also uh, had something that is hidden. It's hidden, it's been, and you know, I started it out with, I started it out with, um, what's going on down there? What's going on down there? And I was looking at water. I was looking at some water. Here it was, this was the first card out water what's going on down there what's going on down there and we had judgment reversed a couple of times you know judgment is if you think about judgment judgment day is it comes from up above right it's karma judgment is a card of karma it's a card of uh, being held accountable for your actions and we had it reversed a couple of times so I started it out with this card and that was you can't see you can't see what's going on below the surface can you so I started out, I started out with what's going on down there what's going on down there you know and I didn't realize it till I watched the reading what's going on down there that's what they're saying okay that's what they're saying up there that's what they're saying what's going on down there what's, and then and then the next card was this one I'm watching you I'm watching you so somebody from above I believe there could also be somebody on this earthly plane, yes, that's watching you, but is watching, okay? They're watching. They're watching your actions, okay? And you're being held, you're going to be held accountable for your actions. You are being held accountable for your actions. What's going on down there? What's going on down there? What's going on? What's going on down there? Well, it's not as it seems. There's a higher power involved that is watching everything through a lens. It's all being seen, all of it, all of it. So those were the first two cards. Um, and we have somebody here that has been uh, stalling. We had the Wheel of Fortune reverse. You know, they've had their foot in the wheel. They've been resisting change. Now, this, the Wheel of Fortune is a card of karma and destiny as well. So we have somebody here that has been... Uh, reluctant to move on they've been clinging to the past and they've made a poor they've made poor judgment calls okay they've made some poor judgment calls and now they're being held accountable through them for them poor judgment calls uh, through losses because the losses of abundance okay because the wheel of fortune is fortune but it's reversed, okay, it was reversed, loss of fortune, unfortunate loss, okay, that's, that's uh, consequences per se for the poor judgment calls that you make. So that's what this full moon is about. We also, like I said, we had eight ones and uh, so that's about uh, your thoughts and your actions. Be, say what you mean and mean what you say because your actions and your thoughts are manifesting your but well, we had the magician success your success so uh, as above so below and with that 18 that we just had on that water card that is the eight is what goes around comes around eights are a very karmic number so 
I feel like this full moon is about new beginnings mainly, but it's also about waking up. Okay. Eight ones are wake up calls. Okay. They're awakenings. It's a, it's a spiritual awakening and we had eight of them and eights are the time is now it's time to wake up. I know people don't want to hear me raise my voice, right? Let's say it like this. It's time for you to wake up, okay? It's time for you to wake up. Does that sound better? Come on, honey. Open your eyes and wake up. Wake up! Came out reversed. This is this is being held accountable. This is being held accountable for poor decisions. This is something not going in your favor. It is. It's it's like there's a decision that has been made and not being happy with the outcome. I mean, justice reversed is self-deception, right? There's a need to be honest with yourself. You need to be honest with yourself. There's bad karma here. I know that there, oh, both justice and the wheel of fortune are about karma. They're about destined. Destined change, of course, is on the horizon. It's time to go in that new direction. You need to be honest with yourself. Do not lie to yourself. We do have a chapter that is ending or it has ended and there is a need to be honest with yourself and allow this change to happen. And I feel like we have somebody here that is seriously clinging to the past or clinging to control. In the other deck, we had the Wheel of Fortune, in the other reading, we had the Wheel of Fortune reverse. That's clinging to control. It's stopping it, stopping it. I'm not gonna let this wheel spin. I'm gonna make that poor judgment call. We had judgment twice in reverse. That is a poor, that's not answering the call. That's not answering the call. It's clinging to the past. It's hoping for a reconciliation with somebody. We had the Page of Cups reversed and the Queen of Cups reversed that doesn't love them, that is emotionally unavailable, or hoping for, uh, yeah, that's what it is. That's what it is. We have somebody here that needs to release the past. They need to forgive the past. This is like drowning in emotions, and it is very going to be an emotional. It's very an emotion. It's a very emotional time. We have somebody here that cannot master their emotions. They can't because they're, and they're acting out of revenge. This is revenge. Justice reverses revenge as well, and judgment reverses revenge. It's making a poor judgment call to well, we have victim mentality, right? With the Queen of Cups reverse to act in a revengeful manner because of pain. Or because of greed, you know, if you're, because I had a lot, I had theft and I had stealing, I had cheating, you know, so if we, we have somebody here that is making a poor judgment call by not doing the right thing, not acting with integrity and being judged for those actions this is definitely a time of judgment. So that's what this, this, that's what this new moon is about. It's a, it's a time of judgment. It's a time of being held accountable for your actions. Um, it's being held accountable for your abuse of power. It's what goes around comes around. I believe that somebody is, you know, going to get exactly what they deserve, whether it's good or bad. There's always two sides to the justice card or the justice system or to karma. So on one hand, you know, there's the good and there's the bad. If you've been a good person and you've acted with integrity and you've, you've had uh, morals and you've done the right thing, then 
congratulations. You probably have a reward that is coming. If you have been unjust and you have stolen and you have thieved and you have cheated and you have um, done whatever you can to emotionally manipulate and blackmail and uh, hold somebody back from their success, well, sucks to be you. So, anyhow, because I see unfortunate loss. Um, acting in a revengeful manner is only going to bring you bad luck. Okay? It's going to bring you bad luck. And I saw that bad luck with the Wheel of Fortune reverse. Now, there's free will that comes into play with the Wheel of Fortune. You know, if you want uh, justice in your life, act out of love. We had the Ace of Cups. You know, act out of love. Don't act out of hate. Don't act without integrity. When you act without integrity, you will lose. You may not lose immediately, but you will lose. Because, like I said with that card, I'm watching you. I'm watching you. They're watching you. And I know people don't want to believe it. They don't want to hear it. It's like, I don't have to act with integrity. You don't want to have to act with integrity? You don't want to, have to, you don't want to believe in karma? Sucks to be you. Anyhow, um... I do believe that we have somebody here that is going to be held accountable for their actions. I also believe that we have somebody here that is not being honest with themselves, that is, is not wanting to accept the truth. The judgment reverse and judgment reverse, not accepting the truth. I don't want to accept the truth. I don't want to see the truth. I don't want to believe the truth. I'm going to lie. I'm going to lie about it. There's lies here. You know, I'm going to lie about it. I'm going to I'm gonna do whatever I can to win, even if it involves deceptiveness. So I do believe that we have some sort of deceptive situation that is going on. And I believe there's some sort of judgment that is about to be passed. And I believe that there's an unfortunate loss here because somebody has not acted with integrity. That's on one hand, okay? Um, on the other hand, I do believe that there is something fortunate that is coming, okay? There's a fortunate change of events. We had a lot of ones, which is a new beginning. It's an exciting new beginning. It is... Um, manifesting something new in your life but I feel like we have somebody here that has been trying to abuse their power because we had and we had the magician twice we had we had the magician upright once and then we had it reversed once so it's like manifesting yes I'm manifesting something but when you try to abuse your power and force somebody to uh, do something against their will that's against, that's not, that's a poor judgment call. That's not answering the call. That's, that's, that's uh, an abuse of power. And I do believe that we've had somebody here that has abused their power. Um, but anyway, I feel like there is some sort of uh, argument with no resolution in sight. And there is a need to move on from a bad choice. Somebody needs to wake up. They need to accept the truth. They have a new beginning that is right in front of them. This is uh, what you asked for, but somebody is choosing not to see it because they're clinging to the past. And they're trying to emotionally manipulate. There's a lot of emotional manipulation here, you know, or emotional blackmail, you know, trying to use their feelings and their emotions to control another person. Um... And I think there's there's accountability that is coming. Um, but we definitely have an, a, an exciting new beginning that is right in the future. It's right here. It's, it's, it is. Um, but be careful with your actions because you are absolutely about to be judged. You're about to be judged um, for your actions. It's almost like it's almost like we have somebody here that's trying to take justice into their own hands. That gets you in trouble. Not only with the universe with the law, but like the, the, the natural law or the earthly law, the justice system, but the universal law. 
You don't need to take it into your hands, your own hands. Let, 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 let the higher power take care of it. They're watching. Trust me, they are. The world reversed on the bottom. No success. Flogging a dead horse. Staying stuck in the present. Refusing to end a cycle. King of Pentacles reversed and the Two of Cups. So we have somebody here that's not being practical. They're not being practical about a partnership. They're not being practical about a union. They're not. King of Pentacles reversed? That's not practical. It's not reasonable. It's, it's, uh... unstable not practical at all stubborn losing an opportunity we have somebody here that is so unreasonable that they are losing an opportunity for a partnership this is somebody that is very uh, self-centered holding on to something that uh, they once had. Not being practical at all about a partnership. Letting go of a partnership. Somebody is letting go of a partnership. We may have somebody here that is unfaithful. You know, this person is disloyal. They're in a, they, may, they may be in a partnership that isn't solid, isn't stable, it isn't real, it's not real, it's not real, it's not real. We got somebody here that is not in a real partnership and it feels like they're being very unpractical, they're not grounded, they're not grounded and it's, it, maybe they're in some sort of illusion and it doesn't have to, it could be any sign. Could be, we have somebody here that's not being practical about their union, not being practical about their partnership. And they're placing blame as well. It's like a, they're blaming, maybe they're blaming a previous partnership or something like that. I do believe that there is going to be, or there has been, an argument with no resolution in sight. We have somebody here that is extremely stubborn. They're unwilling to budge. They're not, they're not uh, wanting to be held accountable for their actions. They're not wanting to be honest. They're not wanting to be truthful. They are uh, disloyal. We have somebody here that is not loyal. They're disloyal. This is somebody that... Uh, doesn't really care about a partnership as long as they're getting attention. Queen of Swords reverse. Whoever they're dealing with is not going to put up with any of their shit. Uh, we do have somebody here that is very, very intelligent. This person would rather be alone than be with somebody that is disloyal. These two people are probably a pretty good match, but we have an individual that doesn't want to be honest and they're dealing with an individual that they have to be honest with. So they're, it's almost like they're losing an opportunity for a perfect match because they don't want to have to be truthful to this person. They don't want to have to tell the truth. They don't want to be held accountable. They don't, they don't want to have to make changes in their life. And they're making a poor judgment call. They're losing something of value because of their stubbornness, because of their uh, dishonesty. Because we have somebody here that is more interested in being a cheater or being disloyal or having the financial gain than being in love. Four of coins reversed. Mm -hmm. 
devil reversed, breaking free, breaking free from toxic behavior or toxic behavior or things getting worse, opening up, opening up to a partnership. We have somebody here that is bound. Okay, they're bound, they've been bound, they've been bound by their beliefs or they've been held back by greed or lust or materialism or they were uh, restricting themselves because they had their ego was in the way, fear was in the way. The devil reverse, this is a disaster. It is a disaster. Needing to take control. Somebody needs to take their control back. And they let their ego, they made a poor judgment call. They let their ego get in the way because they need constant attention. We, because that's what the devil is. Devil needs constant, they need to feed their ego. Somebody has made a poor judgment call in regards to a partnership because of their greed, their lust, their temptation, their desire for constant attention. Letting go, breaking free from ego, breaking free a bond, severing ties, severing ties. Somebody is going to be severing ties. They're going to be severing ties with their ego or severing ties with somebody that they were bound to, that they were holding on to for safety reasons or for security reasons. This is somebody that was ignorant. They were ignorant to the truth. They were. They were ignorant. They weren't seeing clearly. They weren't being practical. They were holding on to something that was toxic, that was unhealthy, that they were bound to for, maybe they were obsessed with. This is severing ties with that obsession, taking back control. Ten of Cups reversed. Dying dream. We have a dying dream here. This is a uh, relationship problem. Somebody has, it's like their dream is slipping away or has slipped away because of ego, because of pride, because of, because of the desire for attention. This is like a breakup. It is, I mean, breaking up, splitting up, letting go, letting go of a relationship that is toxic. I think there's something else here that is better suited. We have somebody here that was holding on for safety reasons or they were obsessed 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 with control obsessed with um, it feels like attention it feels like constant attention obsessed with attention or obsessed there could even be a, some whatever bad behavior bad behavior with that devil card reversed severing ties. Somebody could be uh, leaving the home. Maybe they were obsessed with holding on to the roof, you know, the roof over their head, the safety net, the safety net. But there is some ties that are going to be severed or they're being severed right now. I also feel like we have an individual that is is uh, very hard to deal with because because they're so authentic, it's hard to deal with this authentic person who doesn't put up with any shit. Hangman reversed. Whew. And the star. Star is a card of hope, wish fulfillment unexpected help arriving, a blessing in disguise. The hangman reverse is struggling, struggling to let go of ego, missing an opportunity for happiness. We definitely have somebody here that is struggling. They are struggling with letting go of their ego. They're missing an opportunity. They're missing an opportunity for happiness because of bad behavior, because of obsession, because of greed, because of lust, because of the poor judgment calls that they have been making. I feel like whoever it is that they have been uh, has been waiting for them is probably severing ties with them. 
and they're losing that golden opportunity because of their ego, because of their pride. Somebody may also, I'm going to switch this up, they may be breaking free from a toxic situation that they were engaged with just for the roof, just for the financial gain, or they may have been in a state of illusion. You know, the devil is ruled by the shadow. What you see is not what you get. Somebody may have been in a state of illusion that kept them bound to that toxic uh, situation. obsessed you know infatuation that's what the devil is it's obsession and infatuation with something that is not good for you you have to find your uh, mental strength to overcome this obsession and maybe that's what's happening maybe somebody has become enlightened remember i was talking about a wake-up call somebody may be be, be becoming enlightened maybe they've been enlightened you know that they need to sever ties i do believe that somebody is going to be uh, struggling with some sort of obsession and severing ties with that obsession being judged and being held accountable for actions is definitely here somebody could be losing their stability they could be. They could be losing their stability. They could could have something to do with the home. Somebody could even be ending up, and I see the hangman card, whether it's reversed or upright, there could be some punishment that is coming. Hangman could certainly be punishment. Punishment for their bad behavior. Good luck. <laughs> 